What's up guys, you're watching Brett Slap It Up, and the iOS 5.0.1 Untethered Jailbreak has finally landed. Uh, this is a big deal because now we can actually shut down and reboot our devices without having to worry about having to plug your device into Red Snow. Uh, so first off, let's get into some of the details of this jailbreak. Uh, first off, this does not work for the A5 chip, so uh, any device other than the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 uh, will be able to use this jailbreak. So devices like the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, uh, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 1, those devices can use it, but the following, the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S, uh, will not be able to uh, use this jailbreak. The uh, developer Pod2G, uh, he is currently working on the uh, jailbreak for the iPhone 4S and the iPod uh, and the iPad 2. Uh, so uh, that will be later on. But currently, this is only for devices other than the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. Uh, so another thing, you have to be on the latest iOS 5.0.1 uh, firmware. This does not work for the uh, for iOS 5.0, so be sure that you update. Uh, to make sure that you're on iOS 5.0.1 or if you just want to check, just simply go to uh, your device and go to Settings, General, About, and scroll down until you see Firmware, and it should say iOS 5.0.1. If it says iOS 5.0 or anything else, uh, you might as well just update so you can use this jailbreak. So let's get started with this tutorial. Uh, so there of course is going to be something you need to download. You're going to need to download Red Snow. I'll provide the link for Windows and PC, uh, or Windows and PC, that's the same thing. Uh, Mac and PC, I'll provide the two links in the video description. And uh, I'm currently on PC, so it's going to be basically the same thing except with uh, two different OS's. Uh, so here we go, we have Red Snow right here. Let's just extract this. You're going to need to extract it on uh, Mac 2. Uh, so let's bring this over, open it up, and you should open up Red Snow right here. And let's minimize this. You're going to click Jailbreak, and uh, you're going to make sure that your device is plugged in. So let me just quickly do this. And once you got that all plugged in and everything's all good, uh, you're going to need to enter DFU mode. So let me just switch to my camera so I can show you guys how to do that. So here we have my iPod Touch 4th generation, and um, putting your device into DFU mode is fairly simple. Uh, basically all you need to do is just power off your device over here, just hold the power button, slide the power off, wait for this sucker to shut down. And there we go. Once your device is shut down, just hold the home and power button for a total of uh, 10 seconds, so let's do this now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release the power button, but keep your finger on the home button for a total of 15 seconds, or until you see red snow in the background doing some stuff. And uh, if you're on PC, you may be getting some installed drivers if you've never done this before. But there you go, red snow is doing some stuff, so let's switch over to my PC again. So your computer is going to be going, or Red Snow rather, is going to be going through some uh, install or uh, some kernel things uh, dealing with uh, the iOS 5.0.1 uh, firmware itself. Uh, so basically once you get to this window you can just leave the defaults if you'd like. You can uh, have install Cydia and enable battery percentage enabled. Um, install custom bundles, you can do that yourself if you'd like. Uh, and enable multitasking gestures. I'm not going to do that myself. I don't even think it works properly on my device. Uh, but you can try it if you'd like. It's not going to harm your device in any way. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it with the default settings. And uh, once you're happy with all this, you can just click Next. And it's going to be going through uh, the proper jailbreak and stuff. You should see the hard drive logo on your device. And uh, let's go on to my device so we can actually watch a time lapse of how uh, or what it should look like. So there we go guys, our device is now booted up and you can just slide to unlock and you should just uh, slide over and you should see Cydia right there so you can just open it up and uh, just select the type of person you are 
And uh, there you go. It is now an untethered jailbreak. Uh, so to prove to you guys that um, I can actually shut down my device, uh, let's just show you guys actually. Uh, there we go, Cydia, all that good stuff. Just to shut down our device. This is for all the trolls out there. And there we go, device is booted up. And uh, we still have Cydia on there. We can still open it up, and there we go. The first iOS 5 untethered jailbreak, and uh, it is working perfectly so far. Anyways, guys, I hope you've liked this tutorial. If you have found it useful, uh, please give it a like down there. And if you have not already, please subscribe up top right there. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please be sure to um, leave them down below. And until next time, guys, hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.